Shoddy Jake Brain, man, uh, broadcasting live, so to speak, or pre recording, exministries.com. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. We definitely wanted to uh, make sure you guys understood or give you a little bit more information behind how the project came together that is titled Christian Rap. We wanted to bring you in, kind of uh, spotlight some of the guys who, who gave their all to the project um, as if it was their own. So we got together here today um, and we're broadcasting live from ABC. It's kind of like our headquarters where we do everything get. And uh, we definitely wanted to dig a little deeper into, like I said, some information about the project. So uh, I'm Jay Bryan. I'm, I'm gonna be going around talking to each one of these guys who are pretty much like my blood, blood brothers. And um, we're gonna give you guys some information. I know people are like, uh, like just blown away that you're actually um, behind some music, right? The music hater, right? You, <laughs> the guy that exposes everything about music bad. Uh, is finally going to go ahead and, and step off into um, actually supplying the audience with some good music. Yeah. Um, did you want to give us just a small, um, you know, your thought process behind finally doing something like this? Well, um, I'm a musician. Uh, I always been, was a musician before I was a preacher. Okay. I always loved music. Um, I always loved uh, rap music, um, especially Christian rap. And a project like this is just right up my alley. I love making beats. I uh, still do it. Uh, I went through a period of not playing for about 10 years when I was getting the EX Ministries going and all that. And then once we started this church, uh, we needed a band. And I was available. So <laughs> I invented myself to play. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, playing, playing with guys like this has just made me so much better um, because we have just just some crazy talent here. And so, you know, why not? Why not put out a project? Uh, why not answer the question that I get emailed, you know, 50 times a week, which is, what do you listen to? Right. Well, we're about to answer that with this project. So I'm excited about it. Um, it's a project that has gone through all of our EX Ministries checks and balances, and uh, we're, we're really in love with it. So I'm, I'm excited about this. Man, fantastic, fantastic. Well, I'm definitely excited as well. Um, let's start with Brother Corey first. Uh, musician as well. Uh, I, not, I played forever. Me and Jay ran into each other um, in Detroit. And just, I, I, I didn't like rap too much, honestly. I just like music. But then when I heard, uh, you know, Jay, we kind of built a rapport. And he was always about ministry and, and the common ground. I didn't know at the time is that uh, EX Ministries is what kind of really made the connection before we even, I even knew it. So, uh, you know, we relocated here, me and my family. You know, I actually put music down, I quit it. I just wanted to, you know, be be a good father, be a good husband, and, you know, just figure out what God wanted me to do besides music. I thought it was a distraction. So I kind of detoxed and, um, you know, so having a call to be a part of it and, you know, pastor, and hey, I'm, I just, that's all I got. I'm just glad to be a part of it. My brother, I love him, man. That's dope, man. I love you too, man. Look, so real quick, let's just highlight some of the uh, pieces that you were a part of, and then we'll go down the line. Uh, you were able to be a part of, do you remember the name of the songs? Uh, nah. That's a shame. <laughs> we flipped them so Right, no, we did. Um, so Brother Corey was a part of um, a song called Through the Fire, which is uh, a lot of people's favorite. Um, he really rocked out on that as far as playing guitar. Um, he also played on a song called Mountaintop, and he played on a song called Lower Lord. Um, and pretty much any guitar you hear on a project, um, if it's not, yeah, all the guitar, yeah, that's actually a good one um, that Brother Corey played on, man. So we appreciate you, sir. My man. All right, so moving right along, we'll jump back to Pastor. Man, I've been, I've been waiting to reveal this. Like, how many people can say they passed or produced on the album? <laughs> I think I can hold that title right proudly, right? Man, so a uh, funny story is uh, Pastor had told me, man, I've been back, you know, back in the lab, kind of like tinkering a little bit. <laughs> so in the back of my mind, I had heard his previous uh, music, and it was all songs. So I didn't know what to expect, especially not for, you know, the type of, I'm not a singer like that. I, I just, I can write raps or whatever. So um, he sent me a couple joints. And um, it was they were surprisingly good. I used to send them to Brian, and Brian was like, "Who did it?" 
So, yeah, man, my pastor's a producer too. What? <laughs> no, but he, he, um, he produced a song called Rap For, right? Um, which wound up being one of his favorites. Um, so, you know, what, what went into the magic behind the production of Rap For? Nah, <laughs> I, you know, I'm old school, man. I'm old. I'm like older than all y'all in here. So, when I, um, you know, I'm, I just, that's, that's my flavor that I, I kind of, I don't want to say remember, but that's just the flavor that I liked because it didn't take away, you know, music in the 90s, I would say early 2000s, would set people up to be heard. And that's what I liked about Route 4. Mm -hmm. it, to me, it set you up to be heard. And it wasn't, it didn't have a lot, which distractions are good in music because it's all music and creativity. Right. But I thought that there should be a song on this project where you were just propped up. Okay. And to deliver the type of lyrics that you did in Route 4, I thought it was important that you were heard because you just, you was spitting like a llama <laughs> on that one. So it needed, it needed to be, what you were saying right. needed to be heard. And so I thought that when I, you know, made that beat, I had that in mind that this is going to be the track that you just kind of go off on, mm -hmm. which you ended up doing. So, uh, you know, well, praise God. I went up, look, Pastor just tapped that I went off on him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the source. I don't need none of the magazine. No, I'm done. Um, that's cool. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I, immediately I, I loved the track. Um, he sent it to me, and the title of the track was Mellow. So I was like, mellow, like, well, I, I didn't know what to expect. So when it came on, I immediately thought 95, 96, 97, that was my, you know, production style. That was my era. Um, I was a little younger, but, you know, I understood music and composition and things of that nature. So, uh, and Corey I, I, sung on it. Yeah, Corey. Yeah, yeah actually, Corey, Corey did background vocals on the hook. Yeah, yeah. So you did do something else besides play the good talk. Uh, so Corey uh, did, did sing on it as well. So yeah, cool. So that's a song called Rap 4. Man, it's a real self-explanatory self type of a song. Um, I think a lot of people may uh, get the message immediately. Um, let's move over to my bro, Jay. Moved here from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, born and raised and relocated my family down here to Dallas, Texas. And, you know, just glad to be a part of this ministry. And uh, this, this group of musicians that, um, who allowed me to play with them. You know, it's a blessing to play with them. It's a privilege. Um, just how everything happened. I, I, when I moved down here, I literally gave it up. I gave playing up. I wouldn't come down here to play. Amen. Dude, let you me know. tell this story. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, okay, so our drummer had hurt his leg, mm -hmm. right? And so we were gonna bring in another drummer to just kind of play while his leg was getting healed, mm -hmm. uh, while his leg was better. Jermaine was in the audience. Now he's hiding in the audience. Nobody knows him. Nobody knows what he's able to do because he did like all these guys. All these guys here, and I'm gonna say this on camera, all these guys here came here trying to not play. Amen. Trying to hide and, 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 and camouflage themselves in the audience. Right. And I'm like, no, nah, bro, if I'm up here playing, everybody's playing. <laughs> so Jermaine's in the audience one day, and I think it was this brother that's, one of these brothers that's in here right now, was just next to him, and his phone rang. And his ringtone was some drums. And so he's like, dude, you got drums on your ringtone? He's like, yeah, he's like, do you play? He said, you know, I play a little bit. Yeah. He's like, man, let me hear something, man. He went in there and got in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see he's Native American. It started raining. It started raining in the booth. Raining beats. Dude was in there just killing. And we was like, how do you hide in the audience and you that come? Then we found out that he's a producer. He's making tracks. So the whole track, I'm just taking over your part. But the whole track for Christian Rap. This brother did all the music for us, yeah, so yeah. he ain't just a drummer. The dude does producer. all of it. It's, you know, a producer. Literally everything except for one sub bass line that we, we added in, in production, uh, he played on Christian rap. So 100%. That was that was uh, brother Jermaine. So thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to necessarily call him a producer of one particular song. He had his hands on probably about three, four, or five of the songs. Um, you want? Where you from, man? And, and all that good stuff. Uh, man. From North Carolina, my parents were military, so kind of some of everywhere. Mm -hmm. But Fayetteville, North Carolina, moved my family here, my wife and kids, about two years ago. Yeah. So we've been here, loving Texas. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you, 
primarily are pianists. Yes. Um, but you can play the organ, the flute, the trombone, the accordion, <laughs> 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 right? Uh, but you're, you're flowing in. I mean, you can play the organ as well. Um, a little bit of production. Uh, one of the best writers, songwriters I've ever heard in my life. Uh, but you'll never know. I just have the privilege of serving with him at ABC. Um, so. Um, talk a little bit about uh, the song that I stole from him called Living God. Um, you know, what was your inspiration oh, yeah. behind that song? And we'll get into how we came to my version. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so Living God, no deep story. Uh, it was around, you know, we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. Mm. I was just thinking about it and uh, I was like, man, let's, let's write a song. And uh, it's actually an idea I had a while back. Okay. Just kind of left it alone. And, uh, we were here, me and my wife kind of got together on it, and just thinking about uh, Christ and him being our living hope, like in our Christian faith, that's what separates it from everything else, is mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is Amen. alive. I mean, you can go to a grave and find somebody dead, and yeah. Buddha, all those other ones, but Jesus is alive. So living God, it kind of came from that whole concept, okay. uh, what we believe about that, and uh, my wife, the line in there. Uh, what well, you didn't even add that to the song. Talk about talk about your. <laughs> yeah. No, that was fine. That was fine. Um, so what happened was actually absolutely one of my favorite worship songs of all time. Um, I sing it. My kids sing it. My wife sing it. it it's always going. I have an, I had a copy of it that he sent me uh, that everybody else don't have. Uh, but what happened was uh, the album was done. And uh, we had turned in uh, the files and everything was going to get, you know, polished up. And uh, I disobeyed my pastor. Uh, he specifically said, nah, don't write no more. We're done. We're done. And um, I, it was missing something that, uh, you know, I guess something soulful, something heartfelt that I, I know I would want to project to the world in terms of our Savior. And uh, that was one of my favorite songs. I wanted to sample it. And I actually completed the entire song before he even knew I sampled it. So I kind of like just kind of made him tell me it. Um, but he heard the song. He loved it. Um, him and uh, Brian who produced uh, on it as well. Added another portion to it. Jermaine, brother Jermaine that produced Christian rap. Added some drums to it. And it just became a whole, a whole nother life form in terms of the song Living God. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it as much as we do. Um, and that was the actual Sunday morning service of it, wasn't it? That you sampled? It, uh, no, no, he no, sent me an yeah. MP3. Oh, okay. Watch. So you yeah, sampled yeah. it. Oh, okay. um, that he recorded. But well, we do do it on Sunday. We do all, all the original songs yeah. here, and I think PJ's probably got yeah. our, our best songs. Yeah. 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 Look at him. Look at him. We want to yeah. sing his stuff every Sunday. Right, yeah. right. Right. And I, I tell you the blessing behind it too, you know, he came to me after hearing it and he was like, dude, everything that I was thinking about, everything I was trying to express in the song, you took it yeah. to a whole nother or you kind of extended exactly what I was saying. Him, actually him and his wife told me that, like, dude, like, how do you do that? And yeah. I thought that was a blessing too. So that means that I didn't just necessarily make my own or create my own. Um, I just complimented what was already there. So I appreciate you letting me uh, sample a song that nobody's heard before. Uh, so um, the next song, uh, the next guy we're gonna bring it to the fold is Brian. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? DJ. Hey, hey not much, not much, yeah. Brian. Hey. So this is Brian. This is this is the guy, man. Listen, we gotta spend at least two, three minutes on this, hopefully. Yeah, you do. Um, first of all, let me get a little context to this guy. Um, we met during the first year uh, that. Uh, ABC entered into the building that we're in now, at least the other side of the building before we expanded. And it was one of our first hero meetings. And uh, Pastor was just, you know, introducing everybody. We was, it was kind of like an icebreaker, so to speak. And uh, he was like, man, you know, some of you guys do music, some of you guys in construction, blah, blah, blah. We, we should get up, introduce each other, da, da, da. And uh, he, this is so funny. Uh, he told me he did music. And so, for some reason, Pastor makes me sing on the praise team, even though I can't sing a lick. So he assumed that I was a singer. <laughs> so right, right. <laughs> so I mean, you light skin, you on the praise team. I figured you just, you know, you up there blowing. Um, so what happened was he started sending me songs or, or music or beats, and I, 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 they were good. I said, man, can you send me something a little less, you know, 
soft, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he was like, well, what do you do? Maybe I should ask you, what do you do? So I sent him songs. He called me back like, I had no idea you rapped. So all this time, he thought that I was a singer uh, because I'm forced every single Sunday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. So we, we, that's how the relationship started. But I can, you know, all these guys are my brothers, but I have to highlight this guy uh, for being a brother in, in, a, in a much larger capacity. Because not only in the music, but just how he carries himself, how he runs his family, all of that um, I've been influenced by. So uh, I looked up one day and he was like, hey man, I built a studio in my house. And I was like, for who? He was like, for you. I was like, now wait a minute now. I don't owe you no money because I didn't ask you to do none of this. <laughs> but he was like, nah, man. And uh, we had some similar stories. We did music previously. Um, and we came up with some guys that we did music with and we wound up going our separate ways for various reasons And it was kind of interesting that he had some of that same story. So this is Brian who engineered um, Who mixed who produced who wrote lyrics? Um, man, he did everything yeah, picked me up work. dropped me off fed me fed my, I mean he, you name it He was able to do it not one time wow. did he complain at least not in front of me no, but not one time did he complain, not one time did he ask me for a dollar for it. It was literally out of the love and the passion of his heart. We were always on the same page. We never had different ideas in terms of how we wanted to do it, when we wanted to do it. He never talked about the industry. He never, I mean, it was just the easiest process I have ever endured in my life when it comes to creating or having somebody that you partner with. Um, so that's this guy right here, Brian Johnson. Uh, My name's uh, Brian Johnson. Uh came to EX Ministries with Pastor G. I kind of, I kind of knew him before it was EX Ministries. Growing up, my brother-in-law uh, was good friends with him. And uh, I remember riding in the car and he had one of his old CDs or whatever listening to it. And uh, he had wrote a bunch of songs, a bunch of music. And so I'm like, man, who is that? Man, that's killing. He's like, man, it's, you know, G. Craig Lewis and all that. So I got hooked on his music right away and all that. So, took that, started doing something crazy with it, trying to get into the music industry and all that. <laughs> and then, heard EX Ministries. When I heard EX Ministries, stopped all that, killed all that. And it was like, man, I gotta find this guy, where is he? Because he's just preaching truth, besides the truth behind hip hop. He's preaching other things that in the, in the Bible that just was enlightening me to a lot of stuff. So, it's like, man, I gotta get to this guy. So, came to his church and hooked up with Jay and you know, we start fellowshipping you know, with a lot of brothers and stuff like that, man. It just helped me on a whole nother level, man, with family and, and, and you know, with, with my job and life and everything like that. So, so that's how it all came about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and highlight, too, that it, it went from having fun to now he has to be a bona fide professional <laughs> with no training, no nothing. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just consider that, man. And that's that's the that's the epitome of being a servant. Um, when you just take whatever little bit you have and you offer it all, and then God comes in and and presents it as if like he's got 20 years of experience, and this guy's only been doing this for a year and a half, two years. Yeah. So definitely appreciate you, man. Great heart. Hope you never change. Um, yeah, we we'll clap it up. Um, so let's let's bring it to a close here. Um, you know, context behind this whole project is that it was never an intention to be a project. Right. Um, we literally just enjoy doing music. We, you know, people used to ask us all the time, "Man, y'all doing?" Uh, no, no. I listen to it. He listens to it. And, man, my kids are my biggest supporters. So. Um, them walking up to me reciting my lyrics was always enough for me. What happened was I wanted to take a hobby What had become somewhat of a hobby and I wanted to expand and I wanted to do something with the church building and Pastor G was like say that you are you secretly recording an album with uh, what you doing man? I was like no, nah, I, I, I promise that's not the case and uh, He's just like man listen, you know, I, I, I think you do have some talent I think it can be used for the kingdom. So let's sit down and talk about it. Um, that was two years ago. Uh, we went to lunch at Smash Burger. He said, listen, man, we can do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. Um, but we got to be careful and make sure the Lord is ahead of us and we don't ever get ahead of the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and two years later, we finally come to you know, a group of songs that we feel like we're, we're all equally comfortable with, allowing people to uh, not only listen to, but receive as um, EX Ministries' first official. Uh, listen, I, I got to put this, I'm excited. 
Man, I'm, 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 I'm completely discipled by this ministry. You got to understand that uh, born and raised in church, I've, I've, I've been accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior, the whole kit and caboodle. At 21, 22 years old, um, the Truth Behind Hip Hop Part 1 was introduced to me. And it changed my life Absolutely. immediately. Yeah. Um, and what, what, what started off as uh, probably would have been known as what would be considered Christian hip hop or holy hip hop or, um, out of ignorance. Um, before long, I just stopped doing music. And it took me about a year or so to get back into it. And I got back into it and I stopped again. And I always knew that God wanted to do something um, as we all feel that unction. And so God wants to use for something. But what, what we fail to realize is our training ground is our homes, right? right, right and right. so, you know, we were asked in another interview, what, what, what do we want for people to get from this project? And, and that's what EX Ministry stands for. And that's God's order, period. Um, yeah, we can enjoy music. Yeah, we can be creative. Yes, we can use our talents and our gifts. But what are you doing to, to please God first? And Coming here together, we learn how to be better husbands, better fathers, better rounded men for, for God's kingdom. I think it's the biggest accomplishment out of this, out of this entire experience yeah, definitely, um, definitely. where we have to check each other. Like It's not like we're in the studio all day. We, we don't have that luxury. We, we're working nine to fives. Every, listen, every, every musician up here plays for the church, all married, all with children, all have a job. So there's no ulterior motives, there's no hidden agendas, and I, I, I gotta say, Pastor, um, I really, really feel blessed to be in this position because, you know, what better way to release music from the kingdom and then not have the support of our foundation, which is our core fellowship. Mm. So nobody has one foot in, one foot out. Nobody has um, this particular idea that we can do something and, and blow up all, you know, there's just no other individual models when it comes to this particular project. And um, I think that God is pleased with it, yeah, um, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited about this. I want to make sure I got that out um, as well. So we'll bring it to a close. You get some mercy. Yeah, I want to thank uh, some, some, some people. First, the wives uh, of all of these guys uh, who are patient. Uh, with the time that it takes to do a project like that, like this, um, they were all in, all in with it. Everybody was excited about it. We didn't have any, you know, anybody up here married to no Jezebel, so. <laughs> Amen. Right. Right. Everything Amen. went smooth. Yeah. <laughs> you want to shout out to P31? Uh, yeah, P31 all the way. Yeah. And uh, so, and then also a couple of other people, uh, friends of mine from way back in the day, uh, Chuck Smith, who did live bass on this project, probably one of the greatest bass players in our world. Uh, he played, I was like, Chuck, man, I got some stuff, man, finally, and he's like, finally. So I sent it to him, went over there, and, and you know, in Chuck's style, he, he made it his own and, and really added to uh, Lord Lord and uh, Mountaintop. Uh, so I thank him for the, for the live bass on that. And then also, one of my very good friends uh, up in St. Louis, Levi Two King, who I don't trust anybody else with my music, uh, with anything I'm doing. Uh, so once I became uh, the uh, executive producer of this project, there's only one other person that's gonna touch it. That's Levi Two King. Amen. So yes, Levi right. got the project, mixed it, mastered it, made it sound great. Even you know remixed the cut, put the cut on there. Uh, made by Made In. That dude is a phenomenal producer, so I want to just shout out to him, his family, his father, all of them, all of them up in St. Louis and their ministry. I appreciate the, the you know, the, just his dedication to EX Ministries. He's always been that way. So, uh, want to shout out to him, and then also uh, the ABC family here. Um, our, our, I mean, this is a real family. I mean, these guys relocated here from other places to be here, and it's 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 because it's a real family. And so the church got behind it. We had a listening party for it. Everybody was in love with the project. And it just means a lot that everyone uh, likes it and approves of it. And it's coming through this channel of Adamant Believers Council. So just shout out to the church. And then also, uh, as I uh, close, I can't see that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I was, I was going to get to them. Um, um, but before I close, I wanted to give a special shout out to my sisters uh, who did the female vocals 
on this, and my brother, I consider him a brother, but they're, they're my real sisters, Andrea uh, Williams, Carla Williams, who's her sister-in-law, but she's just like a sister. We used to be a group called Reveal, but uh, man, they are some phenomenal female yeah. singers, mm -hmm. and they did the, the female vocals on this project, and then also Gerard Brooks, who anytime we do a truth behind anything, What's up, G? he's going to open it up and do praise and worship because, I mean, talking about make something out of nothing, Gerard <laughs> is the make something out of nothing king. I don't yeah, care yeah. what the audience is like. I don't care what's out there. I don't care yeah. who's playing. The brother would take the mic and do his thing. So appreciate Gerard up in Detroit for the male vocals that he did uh, on this project along with uh, Corey over here. And uh, finally, these guys are just, you know, you, you dream about situations like this and you, you know, when you start in ministry, you want, you know, these guys make what I do here or what I have to do or what I have to carry. They make it so easy because they want to be here for that reason. They're not here to play. I had to... Corey got rid of his guitar. I had to go get him a guitar. <laughs> I mean, PJ was like, now, Pastor, when I move here, you know I ain't coming to play. I said, I don't care if you're not coming to play. You go play. <laughs> Just, I mean, Brian, when we lost the musician at one point, Brian was in the audience working an iPad trying to mix sound. And I was like, Brian, you're going to have to come play? He's like, what? <laughs> no, I don't want to play. And he plays. And then the other musicians, uh, Bobby and Kwaman, who weren't a part of this project, but they're part of our ministry. Everyone's heart uh, is just, you know, to have something like this, I can't tell you how important and how, how important this is. These guys know. They can call me anytime for anything. I love these guys. They, they, this is my family. Amen. So I thank God for Corey and Jay and Jay and, and uh, PJ and, and BJ and just all of these initials up here. Thank <laughs> God. But I love these guys and a special shout out also to our video folks. My wonderful son who is just my image I'm looking at right now who's filming us and his, his opinions and help, I would always, as soon as I got the track, they would send me a track, it's going one place, and that's me and Landon going to check it out. So I'm going to Landon and listen to it, see what he thinks, because he's half my age, so he's going to know stuff I don't know. And so it's just so many wonderful people. I just want to thank everyone, and uh, thank God for this opportunity, too, to bring you some music, finally, from EX Ministries, and we hope you enjoy it, and, uh, you know, look forward to doing more music. Amen. Mm -hmm.